What's your English name? Yeah, Vanessa. Yes, thanks. Uh, and, um, uh, Amelia. Monica. Hillary. Julie. And see, Kimberly, you can also be Kim. Ah, you like, okay. This is Jenny, and this is Ginny. Jenny. Jenny, okay, all right, Jenny. If you want, you can be called Jennifer or Jen. But Jenny's good. Come on, welcome to the world, Jenny. Jenny, yeah. J E N N Y. My name is Leva and I am our camp principal. The beginning of the camp actually started in China when I was living in China um, and I was organizing summer camps there for Chinese children. It was an international summer camp in Beijing. It was uh, doing it for someone else. It was someone else's uh, company, so to say. And uh, I realized that uh, I would like to do it on my own and uh, I would like to bring it home. So uh, here we are doing it in Latvia, where I'm from. So this is uh, Benita. She's also from Latvia, a place called Salaspils. She likes to draw, she likes to sing and dance. Benita. 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 So this is Maxim. He's from Latvia. Uh, he's 11 years old and he likes to dance and uh, swim again. So he is Zhang Tianyu. His name is Zhang Tianyu. He's from China, Jiangsu, and he's 13 years old. He, 13? Yeah, 13 years old. He likes everything. <laughs> other kids arrived uh, I, I thought before that it, it was going to be uh, worse than that and it was nice they they all were nice I, I like them <laughs> so daddy has everyone Sandra has everyone Christina do you have everyone okay you'll see that Ildiko know this it's very natural what we do here, but at the same time, it's not natural because you know they put together in a group of 14 children with their peers and with two sort of counselors. And I think in the beginning, it's, it takes some time to get used to it, it takes some time to adapt. And for some children, it is faster, for some children, it takes longer. Um, so that, that's normally around three, four days until we all like we get what's going on. The same goes for teachers. We get what 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 it's what's this about? It is the same routine every day. So they know that there's always going to be this and there's always going to be that. So that gives a beautiful round structure 
do the whole thing. We wake up every morning around eight o'clock with the teachers singing to children. with uh, hearing the songs, a little bit grumpy, but quite happy to meet the new day. My expectations were simple. I think it's a great opportunity. Uh, we can uh, talk uh, to the others in English, we can make new friends. We can meet uh, people from all around the world and we can have fun. Oh, wow. <laughs> and then afterwards we go for uh, we go for our first meal, which is breakfast. We always start with the song together, that also sort of gives it a round, beautiful structure. Before I came to this camp, I, I thought it's uh, a bit sad to be away from mom and dad and home. But soon I, s I read something about this camp, so soon I felt very excited. After breakfast we have a morning circle and morning circle is something very very important in the camp because this is the time when the whole camp community comes together. Who's got a letter? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell mom and dad how much fun we're having. Awesome. We'll be back tonight if you want to write mom and dad a letter. We like everything here. We really like everything. We like kids because they are open-minded. There is nothing like conflicts or other stuff. Uh, we like teachers. We like re we really teachers, like teachers. Uh, kids, Everything every, is great. Everyone. Yeah. It's really great. It's morning circles are very sort of energetic things and we, we sing and we dance and we greet each other and we greet the day and we, we have some special tasks and riddles for the day. Have a quick thing, talk to your friends, talk around and think about what kind of animal you might be. Uh, bull. Bull? Okay, good, I see it. Good? Dinosaurs. Di wait, no, dinosaurs, there's thousands of them. And then afterwards we have activities in uh, mixed groups as we call them here, but this is something that we mix all the groups together and they do, they go with, to a different teacher every day and they try different things, different crafts or sports or hikes or uh, games or uh, anything like that. At the very beginning it was slightly difficult to get them involved in activities but now I think they are also great friends and writing each other postcards and with drawings and stuff like that. Actually the language is even not that important. <laughs> I have noticed that as a teacher, the uh, children uh, are spending a really uh, long hours inside. They're playing computers and watching the movies and they're not going outside. And I just want them to encourage them to go outside and, and have, have fun outside and see how beautiful the world is outside. Afterwards, we have lunch uh, that we also start uh, and finish together. After lunch, we have what we call free time. And it's something very essential in my understanding for children because it's that they don't feel that everything's given to them, that you know they have to always copy what the teachers are showing or they always have to follow someone. This is a time where they can, you know, they have free play. They can do whatever they want. They can take materials and make something or they can go play hide and seek in, in the nearby you know, meadow or forest. Uh, my uh, biggest surprise were the Chinese. Uh, like, you know, they uh, 
live in the other side of the world and I thought uh, that they, they weren't different, but they are very different. They stick together, they play all the time, and they are laughing. It's very nice. They are um, happy almost always. Then after the free time, we have an activity uh, within their groups because we have around 100 children here on the camp and they're divided in eight groups. So every group has around 12 to 13, 14 children. And they have two teachers, one teacher, one counselor. And then they go and do different things in their group. Cool. Be careful. Okay. Can I do it? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's enough, enough, enough. Okay. You are very funny when you are make a fire. Eh? <laughs> in Latvia, there are um, many lakes and um, forests. I think 50% of, of Latvia is covered by forests. The countryside in Latvia is like really beautiful and they, the view is fantastic and um, actually um, people can enjoy a life here. Like and I think uh, the house from here are very uh, like uh, they are from fairy tales. Enjoy the meal! Yeah! Let's do it! The thing I want to mention is how happy the people are here. We can do some things, uh, like Waldorf education system is like, the thing is you need is to just be happy. After our um, dinner we have the evening circle which kind of connects the morning circle and evening circle together uh, because we find answers to the task of the day for example in the evening circle and but the evening circle is much more calm uh, we try to calm children down and calm ourselves down lots of free space for joy and free space to be yourself without trying, without hiding somewhere. I think that is the best. Now I felt I felt brilliant because uh, at first I thought the children here are not really uh, friendly because I don't know uh, how to talk with them and how to make friends with them. But now I, I find they are very kind because some of them can't, uh, can, can't, uh, can't speak English very well either. I think from the children's point of view, it's very nice. This camp is meant for fun. It's written in rules and regulations. This is for fun, not sports camp or arts camp or mathematics camp. Yeah, it's for fun. I made a lot of friends from like countries such as like Armenia, which I almost never heard of. <laughs> well, awesome! I think it's it's super great. <laughs> I really love it. The camp? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Yes. <laughs> I don't have to convince anyone to be here, or I don't have to convince children that this is good, because they know and they feel that this is fun and this is great and they like it. The same goes for the teachers and the parents. So my job is, you know, just to have fun together with them. And that's, that's, that's a great job to have.